finally, and look at him, he's putting on a show for us. Mr. Tingana is making a lot of noise. He is making his presence known to everybody in this area. You can see he's jumping up against that tree at the moment. So as you know, with most cats, they have glands in their cheeks. So he's making that scent, well, he's putting that scent all over the leaves, and then you saw him curl his tail up. And of course, not only is he urine spraying, a way in which they typically mark their territory, like I said, he's rasping as what we call the soaring. How great is this? Well, I'm just actually going to turn that light off. He's going to walk right out and in front of us. Pretty amazing. Now you might see a couple of flashes and things along the way. That's not from us. There are other vehicles with us. He's walking right in front of our car. We're gonna just stick with him in infrared. I think it looks, looks quite nice. And I'll leave my lights on for the other cars so that they can also have a good view of him. I'm really enjoying the infrared at the moment. It is absolutely beautiful. But I'm just hoping that he's going to make a noise again. But not just yet. Okay. Let me move up forward. Sorry, Craig. Thank you, Lex. Hi, guys. I'm going to just try and pull off the road slightly so that we can all see. But it is a bit tricky. And there he is, just next to the kite. He's scraping on the ground, so he's urinating. And also by pouring the ground like that, the scent is getting on his fe uh, feet. Much in the way that a rhino, when they mark their territories, they do the same thing. They scrape the ground, so it, the, all the urine will get onto their feet. And then also, um, by sort of scraping the ground, it opens up the scent and you can smell it. Um, a lot more prominently. Like I hope he keeps going south and he doesn't go east again. Otherwise, it's going to be a very short sighting of this man. I just want to let these other cars drive in front. You're welcome to go ahead. We can just play leapfrog. Here we go. So we just how beautiful is that? Tingana and the moon. Very nice. So we're going to play leapfrog, like we said, with this other vehicle. We all need to have a chance to have a look at them. Everyone's got beanies on. Craig, we haven't quite got our beanies on just yet. Sorry, it's just, I haven't got any brakes still, so it's interesting trying to maneuver around. Now, Sabi, you're wondering if a cat is ever marked up against my car. Thankfully not. I, um, I have not experienced that. You know what we're going to do? Hold on. We're going to do a sneaky tailor move. But I know some guys have had lions urinate on a shrub next to them, and they've just been that close. <laughs> that they ended up getting sprayed. Sorry, Craig, hold on. I'm going the scenic way around here. I don't want to play leapfrog. I want to watch the leopard walk towards us. So in order for me to do that, I need to pick up the pace slightly. Please don't be any logs. Craig, you just watch the thorns. This one hasn't got thorns on the right. Go back onto the fire break. I'm just gonna concentrate here quickly and get in front of him and then We'll turn all our lights off and we'll reverse. Have I done enough? We'll see in a moment if I beat him. Luckily he is marking his territory, so we might get a chance. Oh, we don't want to go, yes. Okay, almost. I just can't see through this long grass what I'm driving over. Almost ready, Craig. Ah! Meow. He's, he's coming slowly. And in case you have just tuned in, I'm racing around trying to reposition the car so I can give you the best view possible. I've been walking towards us. This is what we're gonna do. And we'll just play reverse. There are a couple of other cars in the sighting with us. And I'll just keep moving. But you can see, you, with, with these leopards, they're so relaxed around the cars, they really don't mind it at all. He's not even turning back to look at the other vehicle. But I won't pin him in. So before he gets too close, I'm going to keep reversing again. OK, 
Craig, I'm just going to reverse again. Die, you said that he looks massive. He's a beautiful leopard. He's a lovely boy. I would have loved to have seen him Vula in his prime a couple of years ago, four or five years ago. I think he would have been an amazing leopard to see. I might have to go and, and do a stalk on his Facebook page and see if I can't find some old photos. Or perhaps if you've got old photos of Mvula, you can share them with us. Let's just stop to have a look at something now. You can hashtag Safari Live, and this is live and interactive. It's happening right now in the Great Kruger National Park. And if you're wondering why everything is in black and white, it is because we are in infrared at the moment. So it's a light that the animals can't see. And I think just because we've got cars behind us now as well, he's not hunting, so I could put a spotlight on him, but I don't want to shine my lights into their eyes. So this is actually working out for the best for everyone, for the animal, and then as well as the other people on safari. Isn't he beautiful though? Okay, let's move again. We'll just play reverse reverse I don't mind doing this too much good practice I'm gonna go even further back this time ah <laughs> uh, Connor is, is Connor in final control our Connor wild earth Connor ah Connor says that um, who is one of the engineers he said that Tangana is so considerate he arrived in the last 20 minutes. I, and I agree with you 100%. For once, he's not a last minute leopard because a last minute leopard implies that you arrive in literally in the last two minutes of the show, which he is known for doing. Is the, oh, the other light is on. I was just checking. I was just making sure the big infrared light was on. He's coming straight towards us again. He's moving so quickly. So I'm gonna go back again once more. Just keep doing. Look at you, I've started a trend because there's now another car trying to do exactly the same thing that I'm doing. Ha ha ha. Old, old trick this. Just get in front of the cat. Much easier than watching his bum walking down the road. Though it's not a bad bottom to look at. A spotted bottom. But I don't also want to block him. So that's why I'm giving him so much space. You can see how far away the other car is because I know he's coming this way. It is the best thing to do. Come on, dip, give us another saw again. I'm hoping he does. And he's just ducked off of the road. We can still just see him moving behind those bushes. He might just come around. Let's see if we can see him. No. Can you see him there? Oh, uh, where's Mike? Mike, he's, he's just, Ryan, he's just coming out here. Oh, they think they're going to go the long way. Oh, there he is. No, he's... Oh, they didn't hear my, my whistle. I didn't want to shout out. <laughs> How cool is that? You beautiful cat, you. You are making me get more and more grey hairs. And then Parlo have spotted him and heard him. They're alarming now. You hear the alarm calls? Vivi, I think it is. I'm going to let him walk past now because I want Mike to get a chance to. Still can't hear that name. I'm so sorry. I've, I've, I look at him. He's going right past me. Hello, boy. He's a big cat. That is not a small leopard. Billy with a B, sorry. You're wondering if that was the infrared light that I'm gonna just pull off the road and go around and let these guys do, we're gonna do the same thing what we have been doing. I'm rather scared of going off road here. Um, and we'll catch him. I just wanted Mike to have the same experience. Um, sorry, Billy. So uh, yes, it is, it is the infrared. It's just, we can't see that light. The cats don't pick it up either. So it doesn't affect them, but it's still reflecting off of um, oh my goodness, why have I gone black? What is it that Leia called? The Lu oh, starts with L. I've gone blank, completely gone, uh, gone blank now, but 
there's a reflective layer that starts with an L <laughs> for the life of me. I don't know why I can't remember the name. Um, and that's what it's reflecting off. We call that the tapetum flash. So we'll still see that. Oh, I'm gonna have to jump on the road. Mike wasn't even here, he moved. Over here, he's gonna pop out just next to the car. I'm not gonna go in front of the road, we're just gonna hang tight. He's gonna come here, Craig. Here he comes, he's just, he might mark up against this tree, right against this bush willow. The impala are now all alarming, but he's not interested in them. He doesn't look hungry, he's got a big belly, so he's obviously eaten something at some point, which is good. So he's got enough energy to keep him going, so that he can continue marking. And he'll probably go all the way into Torchwood this evening. You might find that we find him on Chitwa Chitwa tomorrow morning. That's his normal route, and he'll do that quite easily in one evening. We're going to play Leapfrog again as he disappears. There's another car that's just going to jump in front. We won't be able to do what I just did now. Oh, we could, Craig, we could. We could be sneaky. We're going to go on the fire break. Look at us. Oh. If we can start the car. We go back in here. Hello, hello, Jan. Did you get my message? Oh, okay, no problem. I get great. I was just chatting quickly to Johan. He's one of he's a landowner in Buffalo's Hook, and it was the same thing Sarah was telling you about yesterday, where the kids were so excited about seeing the vehicle, the vehicles, which was really quite cool. So, so I was just cool. so I was just making sure to see if he got my message I'd sent him. He wanted to come and have a look. I need to race around and try and pick up on Tingana, so I'm going to send you back across to Ellie.